Hey folks, what's going on? It's Pastor Hassan and it's Tuesday and here's our update for the coming week. So on tomorrow is when we're going to have our next prayer meeting. So that's tomorrow, Wednesday, January 13th. And the prayer meeting is going to take place at uh, two o'clock. So I'll circulate the invitation for that before the day is over. And uh, please join us to pray if you if you're able to. And then the following thing that we'll have going is on Friday, January 15th, we'll have our next uh, devotional. And so uh, on last week, we continued to look at the resurrection, the reality of the resurrection, what's at stake in the resurrection. And on this coming Sunday, we're going to be thinking further about that. But Paul is going to get us into discussing um, the truth that, that Jesus, by his resurrection, inaugurates a, a new creation. And so we're going to talk about what it means for us as Christians to live in light of this, this um, that, that we are united to a risen king who has inaugurated a new creation. And, and his kingdom is very much, even as we await the consummation of the kingdom, when it will fu fully and finally be completed, uh, we're living in the reality of, in, in kingdom reality right now. And so we're going to begin to think about that on Friday, just to get the um, our brains oriented in that direction and hopefully our hearts as well and um yeah so uh, that's going to happen on friday friday morning at nine o'clock january 15th and then on sunday uh, january 17th we're going to have our normal uh routine 10 o'clock or sorry 10 45 sermon um is going to be posted followed by the discussion group at two o'clock uh, followed by um, the junior church meeting at four I just want to encourage those of you parents who are able to, please don't forget about that. Please to, uh, um, please do check the WhatsApp chat and your emails, text messages for information regarding that. Um, we, we started on last week. I'll chalk it up to the fact that we had a bit of a break. And so people are kind of slow getting back into the rhythm. And um, you probably got lots of other stuff going on as well. But I want to encourage you, um, parents, if you're able to, to log on with your kids at, uh, at 4 o'clock on on Sunday. And then the last thing, we'll wrap up the evening that day um, at 6.30 uh, with uh, Sunday School, continuing to study through uh, the Sermon on the Mount, I believe. And so that's what's happening for the week. I just want to remind you as well of our memory verse for the month. We're thinking about sad verses, which might seem a little bit strange, but I, I think it's important for us. Like the Bible is full of um, passages of scripture that, that capture the, the reality of lament and just mourning and being sad. And, and it doesn't always have uh, resolution. And, and that's important for us as believers, because what it does is it, it uh, reminds us of the reality, the sometimes painful reality of living in a fallen world. But it also gives us, it also gives us language. We have um, God breathed language to um, help us makes sense of, even when it doesn't make sense, it helps us to give to give language to and give expression to some of the angst that we often feel. And so we're, we're looking at texts of scripture that deal with um, the reality of lament. And our, our memory verse for the month is Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 5. I'm going to read it because I haven't uh, memorized it as yet. But here's what it says. As you do not know what is the way of the wind, or how the bones grow in the womb of her who is with child. So you do not know the works of God who makes everything. Um, not a single one of us. Um, there's not a single one of us who hasn't been baffled at times at, at what God is up to, either in our lives or in the world. And there's so much about the way that life works that we just have to get to the point where we say, you kind of throw your hands up and say, Lord, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what you're up to. And I'm going to just, I'm going to cling to you and trust you and, and cling to what I do know from the scriptures. But there's this, there's that, that weight that comes with it at times. Like it's pretty heavy. Like we want resolution. We want to have explanations and answers, but we don't always get that. And so Ecclesiastes 11 verse five is what we're working on for the, for the month. I would encourage you to be uh, meditating and uh, meditating on that and uh, working at memorizing it as well. But uh, that's it for the update. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, um, call my cell phone, call my house. Um, I'll get back to you. Email me. 
And um, anyway, uh, just let me know if there's any way that uh, I could be of help to you at this time. But in, if, at the very least, know that uh, I'm praying for each one of you. And uh, I love y'all. And uh, we'll see you later, hopefully. Um, be be mindful of uh, what's going on in the news in terms regarding the uh, restrictions. I know we got some stuff being rolled out on, um, uh, I believe, at midnight tomorrow. So just just stay posted in terms of um, further COVID restrictions and stuff like that, so we can do our best to um, abide by those and, and be safe. So God bless y'all, and we'll talk later. All right, take it easy.